I listened to the first podcast of James Murdoch speaking about the development of the business and so he wants he said that he wants a development of Art Basel business. So what could it be? Well, um, James and Lupa System, the shareholder in MCH, um, and MCH is ultimately the organization uh, that oversees Art Basel. So I think to begin, um, you know, while Lupa System is an incredibly influential and important stakeholder in, in the parent company of our, our business, um, you know, they're not singularly responsible for determining or shaping the vision of MCH or, or Art Basel. And I think, um, you know, for our organization, the beautiful thing is that we're fully aligned both as a business within Art Basel and then at the MCH and at the board level of, of you know, I think what we want to do. And I think, you know, there, there is a fundamental commitment that we share to enriching and investing in the core Art Basel show platform, but equally um, to look at the brand of Art Basel and the audiences and the, and the clients we serve and, and really go deep and explore all the, the rich and creative ways that we can bring more value to those communities during the show weeks, but also through our content channels, our marketing channels, through other initiatives that were, some of which we're already beginning to, to steer, um, to really look at what else we can do as a business and how we can, again, grow the business as a business, but in so doing to always bring value back to the artists, to the galleries, and to the collecting audiences that are part of the Art Basel platform and network. So what, do you, what radical change do you imagine in the future? Well, for the time being, since I've only been with the organization for about six months, the first order of business is really investing in our team. So the appointment that we announced last month with Mike Cruza to join the organization and lead the show here in Basel is the first part of that. Um, we're also in the process of uh, recruiting a director for the Miami Beach show. So when those four directors are in place, um, there, that will introduce a new structure to our organization with leaders in Paris, with Clement in Hong Kong, with Angel, Maike here in Basel, and then a soon-to-be-named director for Miami Beach, where they'll each bring their own singular vision to the table and work with the committees, uh, the gallery committees, but also the curators, as well as the cities and, 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 the, and the regions in which they operate to distinguish the fairs. They all report up to and work with Vincenzo de Bellis, who joined the organization uh, from the Walker mm -hmm. uh, as a curator last autumn. Um, I think Vincenzo is a unique figure in our industry in that he does have former art fair experience, but he's also on record, I think, one of the few curators in the world that has a touring exhibition circulating at the same time as he's leading the fair platform for the most important art fair organizer, the Kunellis show that he curated at the Walker uh, opened actually after he left it then toured to the Humex in Mexico City. So Vincenzo, as a leader within that team, brings a textured, nuanced, uh, uh, really artist-first richness to his approach that I think will be amazingly beneficial to the future path of our organization. Um, as the leader of the business, I have an empowerment agenda. I really want to bring new positions to the table, empower Vincenzo and his team to really give lift off and start doing new things to the fairs. It's still a little too early for me to say specifically what that will no be. No revolution? <laughs> Can you announce no. one revolution? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're very committed, um, speaking on your social media channel here, uh, Judith, to our digital channels as well. I mean, Art Basel has one of the largest, if not the single largest social media following. We have a really rich digital platform. We do a lot of amazing editorial work. We want to invest further in that and do more with that. That's clearly an area that syncs up um, you know, with a broader MCH agenda that also syncs up with, with what Lupa Systems and their experience in the media world yeah. also have as a value add. And I think there's a lot we can do as we look at uh, a, a business industry coming out of COVID that's on their mobile apps all the time, that's really looking at things. And I think that's certainly an area that I'd flag is something that we are committed to, to exploring, um, to bring Art Basel to life uh, on a 365 and to take our clients on journeys outside of the fairs as we're more committed than ever to really texturing out and, and, and further investing in the fairs themselves to ensure that our core fair platform remains best in class and that the types of artwork and, and the types of um, projects and initiatives that we do here in Basel, of course, but also in the other shows are, are better than ever. 
and we are in 2023, a very turbulent, I would say, tormented year. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how does Art Basel react to that? Well, we react by working with our gallery community to present the best possible shows that we can. And I think you've seen in the halls today an unbelievable um, stamp of that. I mean, the galleries have truly brought their best work to the table, whether it's um, $60 million Rothko that, that Acabella has brought, yes. whether it's the bourgeois spider or the extraordinary uh, Joan Mitchell at Warner. So this is like the highest blue chip level of the market but on through really radical younger positions, amazingly ambitious projects, uh, with a lot more living artists and, and newly realized projects in Unlimited than we've ever had, I think. Um, so we're seeing that across the whole spectrum, and it's really rewarding as Art Basel to still be the singular place that the art market comes together and that collectors and curators in the market really gets a sense of what's happening at the highest level of the international art world. And you see that here, and our belief fundamentally is that the market will follow. Um, we recognize that we're operating in more turbulent times. We're not blind to that, um, but we've delivered an unbelievable audience to the to the city here this week. Um, you know, it's it's predominantly European, but there's a really strong presence of collectors from the Asian environment. There's a lot of Americans here. There's a lot of South Americans here, and so. Uh, you know, we'll see in the coming days what that looks like, but our sense on opening day is that business is, is really solid, uh, that collectors are buying, um, and that truly great works at the right price will find a market, and, and we're seeing that now, and, and we believe that as we ever believe. Bon, and soon there will be Paris Plus. Mais oui. We are very excited. Us Wait, too. Waiting for you. Merci. Do you know how to say merci? Merci, Judy.